And then today's video, Motorola G73. Holding the camera with my hand, this camera can go all the way to full HD. 60 frames per second. But only in the main lens. In wide angle, 30. There's also a dedicated macro. And let's continue. If you want to compare this video to different smartphone video, check out my channel. I have many videos in that exact place. With many smartphones like Oppos, iPhones. Okay, this is wide angle macro that doesn't work. Dedicated macro lens. Mm, okay, it's a bit slow, but uh, okay. Focus, come on, focus, focus. Okay, one X. Oh, that's not going to work. Ooh, come on, focus, please, focus. Okay, we got the focus. Got it. Video separation looks okay, I guess. Again, that dog is killing me. Barking all all day long. <laughs> anyway, let's run a little bit. Okay. All right. Telephoto. It's 3x, 4, 6, 6, that's the maximum. Ooh, it's so blurry. <laughs> yeah, let's go back. Let's move to another side of that bridge. There we go. Hit the telephoto one more time. I mean, what's the point? This is not a telephoto experience. I mean, not bad. Quiet, please, quiet. Anyway, macro again. Dedicated macro lens. Yeah, that's nice. Very nice. On the skin, on the jacket. That's really nice. Okay, we are in the wide angle. Damn it, are you that tired barking all day long? He's just happy, spinning around. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Uh, out of focus. And wide angle. Now, there's now, there's now wide angle lens, out of focus available. I've made a mistake. Autofocus in wide angle is available. Look at it. It is a bit slow and not always works, but it is available. That is something which not even Galaxy S23 and 3 Plus have. Again, present autofocus in wide angle. Come on, go, go back. There, there it is. In the macro, I mean, that it has to be, of course, it's a, it's a macro, so the focus is available, what about 1x? 1x? Well, it should be. Okay, it is available, but it's uh, very slow. I mean, <laughs> come on! Oh, it's so slow. Oh, okay. Shut up! Jeez. Anyway, front facing camera. Front facing camera it is. Sky. Surprisingly, it's not too much overexposed. Okay, a little bit here, but the sun, uh, this, this is direct, directed to the sun. Not bad. All the focus. I'm joking. Like, wow. Frame rate is so low, it's like less than 30 frames per second. Oof. I'm commenting what I see on the smartphone. It's zoom? No, not available. 
What about zoom in the photo mode? But before we do that, full length of my arm, how wide it is, it is wide. Nice. Wide angle lens, red camera, full length of my arm, also very wide. For some reason I was unable to record audio and video at the same time, so this is a voiceover. But we are in the macro mode, in the photo department, you can see, yeah, nice. Really nice. Taking a photo and uh, okay, it's upside down. Can we deal with it? Anyway, let's continue. Wide angle, one X, and let's uh, do a telephoto. It's the same thing because it's the same lens, so it is what it is. Portrait. You can see tracking is very nice, and it's taking those photos when you're smiling. It will take a automatic photo. You can turn off that feature, but yeah, it's pretty nice. Ultra resolution. That means 50 megapixel photos. Panorama. Well, there you go. Panorama. Every time we hit that bump, it will take a photo and it will connect those photos to the one big panorama experience. And uh, okay, let me just turn it down. Okay, turn it, okay. That's you see in post production, it's quite difficult when the aspect ratio is different. Or maybe I'm not that advanced in post production. This is a dual capture video, you can change to dual capture photo. There you go, similar thing, but in, uh, in photo. If we hit more slow motion, but I don't think I will be able to show you slow motion. I don't think I will be able to show you the slow motion because uh, I mean it's kind of pointless. You can do slow motion past for production that will look better. Uh, night mode, very uh, beautiful at night. I'm surprised how good it is. No, yeah, kind of awesome. Now it's time for photos. I'll put a link in the description so you can download the original sample without uh, compression, without the YouTube compression and uh, yeah, you can zoom in, zoom out, whatever you Dedicated night mode, you can see beautiful, like in the flagships. Wow, I'm surprised. At night, it is really, really good. Also, in daylight. Photo-wise, it's comparable to the flagship smartphones. I don't see too much difference. Well, if you have 200 megapixel camera, like in the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, which is like five times more expensive, uh, maybe. But uh, other than that, flagship level. I love it. Well, without the zooming, because of course this is just electronic zoom, not the not the optical zoom. But still, look at the clouds, the sky. Look at the colors. This is all natural colors. Not, of, of, okay, it is a little bit oversaturated in the red department. If you find the red in the photo, it'd be a little bit oversaturated. Just a little bit. Too much on the red side. That's what I meant. Ah, selfie, also very nice. And I can see, you see that red? It's a little bit too much. Too reddish. I think in the pro mode you can correct that very easy. And there you go. Okay, how many photos did I take? Very many of them. Well, this camera was in the, in the motion and it also came out not blurry at, at all. And also a night shot, also a fantastic. And another selfie. There you go. Conclusion. Makes really, really good photos. Video, oof, in this price range, oof. you can buy an uh, old flagship with that price. Like Galaxy S20. And will make way, way more, way better job 
we have the video with photo probably too but galaxy doesn't have that huge battery and quick charging well it's 18 watts i don't know if you're in the market for the new device that is something for you audio and video experience are perfect that's all i have thanks for watching and uh Wait for the full review. Maybe tomorrow. Bye.